haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Time for bed, fellas. Very good. We were getting low. Really needed this. Good job, Mr. Morgan. This camp could do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Kill, run, all in the name of fun. Dutch is fun. Dutch is gonna save us all. Dutch is gonna save us. Well, he saved me twice or more already. Stopped the farmers from lynching me up in Illinois. Just now he had me saved from wolves. Hell, he saved us all from the Pinkertons or whoever it is on our tail. And still... I doubt it. Blessed are they who have faith, yet have still not seen whatever that line he spouts is. What do I know? I don't know a thing. I mean, that man I killed for, the man I ran for, the man I believed in, is that still the same man I see now? It's about all I got left now is doubts. Doubts and scars. Hey, fellas. Hello. Hey there. Hi, Arthur. Yeah, we all been in this a long time. I barely remember nothing else. Nope. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Yeah. You've been doing good. Is that right? Mood seems pretty good around here. I guess. Well, guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. Okay, Arthur. <laughs> it makes my heart warm. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> hey, what what is your story anyway, Micah? I told you. I guess I missed it. Well then, I guess. All right. For You'll sure. have to listen closer next time. I'm drunk as a lord. Oh, me too. I'll see you later. Oh. You boys mind if I sit down a while? Been a tough few weeks. I know I've been kind of mad with you all. 
I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I... I want us to get out of here. Everybody nearly gone crazy. I'm just trying to keep things together. Sometimes it gets hard. I guess I'm... I guess I'm struggling to just... find a path forward for us all. Same as Dutch, same as Hosea. I don't want to die. But if I have to, I will. So... You want to join us, Forgive Arthur? Me. All of you. How are you? Hey, fellas. Arthur, my boy. How are you? Hello. When are you going to get your act together? I'm just minding my own business here. You going out hunting again soon? Maybe. Well, you let me know. I might join you. Thanks, Arthur. You okay? Hello, Arthur. You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. Must be hard, being so far away. Okay, then. how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Money's in the pot. Made it big. Again. Ooh, you lucky people. The rest of you stop being so goddamn lazy and come over and say thank you to your Uncle Micah. You want a medal? You just don't like the fact there's a new hot dog. Oh, don't make me laugh. How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. But Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was well, she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. <laughs> we'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I stole that one. I'm sure I can steal another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too.
good. Well, whoops for you. This is uh, nothing. You know, I think I like this spot better than Horseshoe Overlook now. I hear you. Good for you, I'll take I guess. It. Here you go. If the Pinkertons could see you now, killer, bank robber, dominoes player. We gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headlines. Well, keep your eye out then. I guess I kind of feel bad for you. There, you can play that. That's not looking up, amigo. Got Domino here. Well, okay. Okay. Here's your points. Oh, this is great. Oh, you'll have your chance on the next one. Silly. Let me know when you want to lose that dominoes again. You feeling more settled here now? Yeah, this is a nice spot. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be, too, when you start pulling out smallmouth. Yep. Okay, follow me. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on.
Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This, this is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... That he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Adelante. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Hey, why are you getting off? Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. Time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky we got such nice weather, but rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like. Staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. He's a fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah. It was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go. And read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Tom O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. 
Then Combs Main Street got meaner, and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Okay, let's try for another. I heard people talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Owangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good-looking fish. Well done. You got one! He's a fighter. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Lucky. Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? That's fine with me. Another one. Another one. Pull to the left as he goes right. Good job, Arthur. Oh, keeping you. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. <laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. Hey, Javier. Hello, Arthur. I reckon you might be the most loyal of the lot of us. What else is there? Well, you're right about that. All right, Arthur. There she is. Yeah. Hoy, Arthur. Micah. Hello, Arthur. Hey, you see Mike could put any money in the box? No, I don't think so. Okay. Thanks. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Mr. Morgan. Oh, hey, Arthur. I, I left some of that horse medicine I made for you by your tent. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. Anyway, I won't disturb you. See ya, Arthur. Arthur, you look odd. You want to talk? I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? 
I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Uh, I've been hurting women too. Bad. I can't explain it. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is gonna end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. You okay? I'll get on those debts. Good, good. They better be. Easy there. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <sighs> Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? I... Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Yeah. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case... Send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear... Thank you. 